Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? You know who it is. Big country gamer right here. First of all, man, I want to say uh, thank you. You know, some new subscribers that came on, I want to thank you for coming on this channel. Um, this channel is about, I, I do video gameplay. Um, I do some vlogging stuff like that there. And um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, Put a comment in the comment section that what video or what videos or what's what I do to make you want to join the team. So um, I want to say thank you. Um, I know I say this one a lot of times, but I'm I'm basically I'm, I'm I'm getting down to it that going to do some Skype calls. So some of y'all subscribers subscribers might have chance to get on and we could do a conversation um, on Skype. So if you got Skype, download Skype, um, and um, I will, I'm going to, if I remember, I'm going to leave a link below on my email address where you can give me your Skype ID, and um, I can add your own, and we can do some Skype calls and do some interviews and stuff like that. Um Got a lot of things I want to do with this this channel. You know, I had the other channel, Big uh, Country, and this flipping two 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 channels is just you know I don't have time for it because I work ten to twelve hour days. I get I'm home between ten to twelve hours or whatever, and um, I don't have time to keep flipping. So I'm just gonna have this channel. You know, when I talk about other stuff, just for vlogging. But um, I'm up early. I'm off today. Today is Monday, the tenth of December. It's six twenty-two. I'm off today because um, got doctors I got to see. At eight o'clock, I go to a heart doctor, get a stress test and an echo to check my heart. Um, you got to get your heart check. You have to get check. You know, and even though it's going to cost money because we got a sorry-ass insurance, I'd rather to, to, to pay something a month, $20 or whatever a month, to pay to get my health in order. So I'm going to get my check, my heart check, make sure my heart pumping blood, you know, correctly and stuff like that there. Also, I'm getting my vein and arteries checked. You know, make sure my, you know, the vein, the blood is flowing good in my veins. Make sure my valves not loosened and stuff. Make sure my arteries is good. So I'm getting all that checked today. So 8 o'clock, I go to the heart doctor, get work, get tests done for the heart doctor. Then at 11 o'clock today, I go to the vein doctor. Then I had to set an appointment with my doctor so she could look at everything. Um, I put myself on a diet plan. Um... Just gotta watch what I eat now, and, and and try to get more healthier. I'll be fifty years old in a couple of months, in four months, March thirty first. I'll be fifty, so it's time to start thinking about your health, think of, you know, being healthier. So we gonna, you know, I'm gonna do some videos where we gonna, um, you know, start going to the gym, start working out. So you join me on that journey, and, you know, we can help each other out. Um, so that's some stuff that. It's coming. It's coming up. Um, I don't know if it can come this winter, <laughs> you know, because because winter time I hate going outside. You know, I'm from South Carolina. It's right now. It's twenty 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 some degrees, and and it's cold. And I hate to go out there to go to work. And I hate to go out here to go to the doctor. You know, in the weekends I don't really go nowhere because I hate to go outside in the cold. You know, so um, look for. Hopefully, we'll do some of that. Um, what I want to talk about is four months ago, five months ago, I was talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers. They shouldn't have drafted a, a, a wide receiver. They shouldn't have drafted a quarterback. And a lot of y'all say y'all Steelers fans. 
question if am I am I a Steeler fan? Y'all question what I say about the Steelers. Well, I'm a Steeler fan since 1977, 1978, ever since I was a young boy. So for you questioning, I'm a Steeler fan. You see back here, Steelers, Steelers there. I got a Steeler, you know, um, rug or whatever it's called, blanket right here. I got Steelers downstairs. I'm a Steeler fan. <laughs> I bleed black and gold, so you don't have to question if I'm a Steeler fan or not. But I'm a realness. I told y'all that they should not draft a, them two position players because they need help in other positions. They need help on defense. They need a linebacker who can stop the run. They need some corner. They need some cornerbacks. I mean, Hayden was one time was the best cornerback or the second best cornerback in the NFL. Because of injuries, he doesn't slow down. So he's not one of the best. He's just a plain old cornerback. But he can't hold everybody. Burns seemed like they drafted him a few years ago. Had high hopes for Burns. He's on the bench. I feel like he's a bust. You look at cornerbacks who they drafted, it's, it seems like they're a bust. And y'all, y'all, and, and, and everybody I see on, online say they need to fire Mike Tomlin. Well, maybe you might, because Mike Tomlin don't have the personnel power like Bill Carrier had. But not only if you're going to fire Mike Tomlin, let's start to the top. Let's start to the top. Let's start to the Pittsburgh GM, Kevin Colbert. I say it and I say it and I say it. They need to fire Kevin Colbert. He's the most dumb ass GM. That somebody had nerve to say that Kevin Colbert is rated number two best GM. Where the fuck that rating was at? Because I, I, I didn't see the rating. If he was ranked number two because he had Kevin Colbert, I mean, he had Bill Kaya making him look good. When Heinz Ward contract was up, Kevin Colbert didn't want to give him a contract. Bill Kite had to win over his head to get it. Jerome Bennett's contract was up, had to win over his head because Kevin Colbert didn't want to give him the money. You know, so they forced Palomalo out. Palomalo could have been there for one, maybe two more years helping the young players, but they forced him out. You know, so if you want to fight Tomlin, let's go to the whole, let's go to the top and let's talk about Kevin Colbert, the Pittsburgh Steelers GM. Fire him. Because last time I checked, the last Super Bowl that we went to when we played the Green Bay Packers, and what that was, I uh, can't remember when it was. We lost, though. We lost to Green Bay. And that when pretty much Bill Kaya team was going, was basically leaving. We had, with, his, with the linebacker, Wordy, Woolly, or whatever his name, they got rid of him. They didn't want to give him a contract. We had a lot of good players that made Pittsburgh's defense Blitzburg. Kevin Cooper did not want to sign. We could have had that one linebacker for, for New England. And he said the money they offered him, he thought it was a slap in his face. So he went back and re-signed with New England. We could have had a good linebacker right there. That was Kevin Colbert. Kevin Colbert is the man who pitch contracts, do offers. And he tried to lowball everybody. That's why we had the problem with with um, Laverne and Bell. Because he don't want to give Laverne and Bell the money. Now, I was for Laverne and Bell getting his money, but for him basically like, I'm not going to show up. Well, I was pissed off on that too. But I also see when the guy from Seattle was going through the same problem, but the, but the, the linebacker of Seattle came back and played, and what happened? He told his Achilles, 
his season over. So you know what? I could understand on a business and health view that, okay, you know what? If I come back and play for this franchise tag and get hurt, it's gonna hurt me it's gonna hurt me for the next year contract. And then I might end up missing whatever games next year. See that problem starts with the top, Kevin Colbert. My thing is clean the whole house. Get rid of the GM. Get rid of the coach. Get rid of the offense coordinator. Get rid of the defense coordinator. It's time for new blood. It's time for new blood. And let me tell you, I told y'all they didn't hire. Washington dropped more passes than he catch. And then you then you draft a quarterback who's sitting down, not even dressing out. He wasn't even good enough to be the second quarterback, the second string quarterback. He's the third string quarterback. He don't dress out. But y'all ridicule me when I say something about them. That was two positions we could have drafted someone on defense. And it's not going to get no better. You know we cannot beat New England. No, it's something about the Patriots that we can never beat. Can never beat. We got them Sunday. The next week we got after then the week after that we got New Orleans. The best team in the NFL. We were seven two and one. Now we seven five and one. We lost three in the stru- three three games in a row that we should have beat it. That our defense could not do nothing with. Should have beat San Diego. We had San Diego beat, but well, we had a 15 point lead or 18 point lead, whatever, with San Diego. Blow the game. We let a 2 and 10 team beat us last day. We had the lead. And we let the team went downfield. Bam! Touchdown. Easy. Because. They run a hitch. I think what you call a hitch when you run out and you cut back. I think that's a hitch. They run a hitch all in the second half. And we had a dumbass defensive coordinator who did not make adjustments. We get rid of Devil we get rid we get rid of Dick LeBeau for this butler dude. Really? Then you had the second string quarterback in there. And you try to run the ball. I don't think Pittsburgh had 60 yards rushing the ball. That was the offense coordinator. You left Ben out the game that Ben could have came back in the game. If Ben said on the interview, oh, he was fine. He could have come back in earlier, but they since we since they had the lead, they decided to hold him out. That's a coaching mistake. Cause what happened when soon Ben get back in the game, Ben went downfield, let us in the for a touchdown. So that is Mike Tomlin for, for us right there. But we had the lead, you let them come downfield. Let's see, I mean, what the fuck? I'm looking at at the best. We could be eight, seven, and one. We can't be New England. We go to New Orleans Saints, and we know how high power they offense is, and we cannot stop high power offense. And we could be probably beat Cincinnati. So I believe we could be home sitting at the playoffs. 
We need to be fine everybody. Get new blood in. Get start by firing the GM, Kevin Cobra. Stop fire that bum. Get you a GM in there who know football. Cause Bill Kaya made him look good. He get that job because of Bill Kaya. Bill Kaya made him look good. Bill Kaya team gone. Ben Rosselberg is the only player on Ben on you know was drafted by him. Bill Kaya. So Bill Kaya team gone. What have you done for me lately? Like I said, let me get myself ready for the doctor. Just want to do a quick video on that, man. You know. Don't never question me. I'm being a Steeler fan. I'm a realness. I told you that defense is garbage. You, you get rid of Dick LeBeau. And see, I'm going to tell you how bad this Kevin Corbett is. That loss against San Diego, Mike Thomas want to fire Butler. First of all, Mike Thomas want to fire Butler in the offseason. Kevin Corbett stop it. Mike Tomlin was gonna, was gonna Tomlin was gonna fire Butler defense coordinator. I think that's his name. After the San Diego game, Kevin Colbert intervened. That's Kevin Colbert. He is the problem for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He I'm not saying he I'm not saying he all the problem, but he's the main problem. He is 90% problem with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Is that GM. The rest of the 10% go to the coaches. That's all I got to say about that. Comment in the comment section. Like. Subscribe.